so much for tuning into HSN. This is our wonderful friend Amadeo here. You know what? Visit HSN.com and you can learn lots and lots about Amadeo. See, that's this my is blog. Your blog. Yes, I oh, and, tell us what and, we're looking and, at here. and this is like the Bay of Naples, and you see Toro del Greco and the Vesuvio. Uh, and uh, in my blog in HSN, you know, I, uh, on HSN.com, I talked about my recent trip to uh, to Naples, but also uh, in Cannes at the film festival where I went to uh, with my uh, fine jewelry collection, Faraone Manella, and we dressed a lot of celebrities for the red carpet and then I went home uh, and, and did a lot of cameos but you can see also you know a, a cup of an espresso in Naples and a beautiful uh, uh, palazzo architecture uh, you know the bay and the yes. city uh, and those shells just like by the beach uh, they're there like like souvenirs uh, and the beauty of Naples I wanted you to see well actually there's a beautiful picture of a window of a balcony and that's our balcony in our house in Capri mm. uh, so you can see a little bit of Capri but why I showed you this why I put this on on, uh, on on the blog because I want you to see where the tradition of cameos come from the beauty of cameos the, the handcraft the, 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 the artistry it comes from the heritage it's yeah. not it's not a business Family. it's it's not just like a making money uh, it, it's really the the consequence of hundreds of years of history of art history uh, of incredible beauty of uh, castles you know the Naples has five castles the only uh, European capital with so many royal palaces in one town. Is that uh, true? And the cameos have always been made in Naples right. because Naples was the aristocratic uh, capital of Europe, uh, and the royal families always looked up in Naples for the beauty of the, you know, of the royal family. Uh, and cameos are and have always why. been royal. Yes. Uh, you know, if you see the paintings of Napoleon, the coronation of Napoleon, uh, it, they always all the women in the in the painting, and even Napoleon was the first collector of cameos. Wow. Something like this. And let's is, talk to this because this is unique triple carving, This correct? is a triple carving. Triple carving means that we carve on every single piece of the shell, also the, the, the third layer, which, which is, is called the lip, right? which is very difficult. And this is the actual you. shell. And listen, here's the thing. I know it clocks up on the screen and we always have so much to talk about. To lock in this at the best price ever at $139.95 for a triple carved. It has to be one of the best values in the square shape of all cameo rings exactly. that we have throughout the whole day. Five through size 10, highly, highly collectible. It's 541054. Okay. So you see, generally, we we work on a, on a cameo like this. This is the, you know, the stick where we put the, uh, the cameo on so that we work better. This is the bulino the car, where we carve the cameos. You know, I started to use this bulino when I was just 16 years old. It's amazing. And uh, we, we carve on two layers so on one layer and we how carve difficult the face. I mean look what you're yeah. doing and uh, you know you have to be very careful very gentle very smooth but very decided right. because other decisive decisive Decisive. because otherwise you know you're not gonna get anything accomplished but this is crack, art. this is right? gonna crack and then you have to be very smooth and also you have to remember you're recreating the face of a woman so it has yes. to be beautiful it has to look uh, you know uh, very gentle and this one on this one on this one, on this one what we did was not only using the, the two layers are, that uh, generally we use, but also the third the one, lip. the lip of the, the shell, mm -hmm. which is very, very thick and very uh, difficult to carve. But it's beautiful because it adds on top of the cameo, not only color, but right. a third layer. So it looks even more three-dimensional. And when you Whoa. touch it, you feel it. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, in the old, in the old days, there, it was more uh, common than now because they had much more time uh, in their, on their hands. But now it's uh, much more difficult to because it's a very time-consuming, uh, very labor-intensive, but it's amazingly uh, attractive for one reason. It really is an antique piece. You could never make the distinction between one of the cameos that you buy from us on HSN and mm -hmm. M&M's Cognomio Cameo made today is exa exactly made uh, the same way uh, an M&M's Cognomio Cameo was made uh, 150 years ago. Because wow. we use the same tools, we right. make it in the same places, we, our carvers even are, you know, fifth generation like me or sixth or third generation. Uh, it stays in the family and it's a family affair. And if it's almost becoming a lost art, you and were it, saying. It is absolutely is a lost art. If you scary. think about that in a world of uh, how many billions of, of people are we on the world, absolutely. on this planet, and then on a small town of 70,000 people, this tradition is still uh, treasured and saved. Uh, so there is probably, uh, I would say, 1,000 people involved in the cameo making 
business, you will understand how what kind of a dying guard this you is. You better believe it. Each one unique and special. Each one signed. This is five four one zero five four. Our best price we so ever beautiful. offer. It's Incredibly absolutely beautiful. exquisite. I love how hair is pulled up. And it's very so, chic because of the shape also. Yes, the square shape, which is another thing that's so rare that we love that you bring to us. Okay, a couple of other things we want to remind you of.